I spoke to Con Cochlan, the Daily Telegraph's executive foreign editor and an expert on the Middle East. I began by asking him how capable Iran was of mounting a blockade of the Strait of Hormuz. Well, I think there's a lot of bluster coming from Tehran uh, regarding its threats to close the Strait of Hormuz. When you look at the Iranian Navy, it does have some capabilities, but they're pretty, uh, they're pretty obsolete, a lot of them. The, a lot of the frigates that the Iranian Navy has are old British warships. They have a couple of submarines. But um, talking to Navy uh, intelligence officials here in London, uh, I gather that we don't see them as too much of a threat in terms of their conventional capabilities. But um, as we saw in 1987, the last time they seriously tried to close the Strait of Hormuz, uh, when they used asymmetric means, uh, fast-speed boats, rocket-propelled grenades, they can still cause a great deal of disruption. And I think it's very difficult for a, a modern, sophisticated warship uh, to protect the strait against the, the, the swarm tactics of the Revolutionary Guards using fast patrol boats and, and rocket-propelled grenades. So militarily, you've you pointed out what they could do. Uh, what about financially? Could they actually afford to block the strait, given the fact that they depend on it so much for their oil exports? Well, quite. I mean, I think if any attempt by Iran to close the Straits of Hormuz would be self-defeating. Uh, the Iranian economy is already in a terrible mess. I think the real, the national currency, has fallen by about 20 per cent in the last month um, into anticipation of the EU's uh, sanctions measures. Uh, and any move by Iran to confront the West by closing the strait will have a disastrous impact on the Iranian economy at a time when it can least afford it. So uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a very sensible course of action. But, of course, the Iranians don't always act very sensibly. And given the EU oil export ban, what effect do you think that will have? Well, I think the West is really cranking up the pressure on Iran. Let's not forget the reason the EU measures are being taken and the reason that the UN has also applied sanctions in the past is because the Iranians have just point-blank refused to cooperate with the international community over its controversial nuclear program. And furthermore, you know, most, most intelligence agencies, most UN nuclear watchdogs now agree it all looked as though Iran is working on an atom bomb. So we need to uh, crank up the pressure on Iran. Uh, the Iranian economy is suffering already. I think these measures are a significant escalation in the West attempts to try and uh, get the Iranians to come to their senses and freeze the nuclear program. Do you think Iran will back down on its threat to block the Strait of Hormuz and eventually bow to the international will against any nuclear ambitions? Well, Kate, the key to this is that Iran's got parliamentary elections in March. And there's a lot of grandstanding going on in Tehran between the different factions. As I said, I think it would be disastrous for Iran uh, to try and close the Strait of Hormuz. Uh, but the, the problem with Iran is always who's calling the shots. Um, there are more moderate figures in Tehran that realise that, that it would be economic suicide, if not uh, military, mil military suicide, to try and close the Strait. But uh, you never know who's, who's actually uh, pushing the buttons in Tehran.